Hi guys, so today we'll be talking about C Sharp and .NET, so let's get right into it. The first thing I noticed among fresh developers is that there is a certain confusion between C Sharp and .NET. So let's get this straight, C Sharp is not .NET. C Sharp is a computer programming language, while .NET is an environment on which C Sharp can run. Both of them were developed by Microsoft in an effort to improve the overall programming experience. .NET is a pretty complex blanket term that tends to cover a lot of components. With the help of these components, the engineers can develop a multitude of apps. These apps include web apps, mobile apps, desktop applications, microservices, cloud services, machine learning algorithm, 2D and 3D games, and IoT apps. The .NET community has grown a lot, especially in the last couple of years, and has now over 5 million developers. Before diving deeper into .NET, let's take a look at the history of c -sharp, as the two are related to each other. Everything started in the 90s, when Microsoft was developing .NET, and therefore needed a language for this kind of framework. The plan back then was to develop a simple, robust and modern programming language which used C and C++ as an inspiration. This task was taken over in 1999 by Anders Hegelsberg. He, together with his engineering team, developed COOL, or C-like object-oriented language. As the name suggests, its main strength is that this language uses object-oriented design. Although the development process ran flawless at first sight, the name needed to change because of trademark and copyright reasons from cool to C sharp. In the next year, in July of 2000, the .NET project alongside with C sharp have been publicly announced at the Professional Developers Conference. Also, class libraries and components from the .NET runtime have been ported to C-Sharp. Finally, in 2002, C-Sharp 1.0 has been publicly released, alongside with .NET Framework 1.0 and Visual Studio 2002. C-Sharp was ECMA and ISO ISC compliant. As a general rule of thumb, based on Microsoft's behavior, each time Microsoft released a C-Sharp version, it also released it alongside a .NET and a Visual Studio version. We can observe this pattern by looking at the C-Sharp release calendar. After the initial release of C-Sharp 1.0 in 2002, C-Sharp 2.0 was released in 2005, 3.0 in 2007, 4.0 in 2010, 5.0 in 2012 and 6.0 in 2015. As mentioned, each C# -sharp version came in a package with its specific framework and Visual Studio version as seen in this table. A very important chapter in Microsoft's history is the release of .NET Core 1.0 in 2015. In 2017, C# -sharp 7.0 was released following up with C Sharp 8 in 2019, C Sharp 9 in 2020, and C Sharp 10 in 2021. As we can notice, .NET Framework supports all C Sharp versions till C Sharp 7.3, but only .NET Core supports C Sharp versions starting with 8.0. C Sharp 6 and 7 are so called overlap versions that both support uh, .NET Framework and .NET Core. The main huge difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core is that .NET Framework is only supported on Windows and you can build Windows app with it while .NET Core is multi-platform and you can also build Mac and Linux apps with it. Speaking of multi-platform compatibility, there were a lot of reactions stating that c -sharp and .NET would be a response to Java. At that time, a lot of professionals also said that c -sharp and .NET would actually be a copy or a ripoff of Java. 
The reason for these statements would be the high amount of resemblances between those two. First of all, both Java and .NET are object-oriented. Also, .NET's CLR resembles Java's JVM, ADO.NET would be an equivalent to JDBC, ASP.NET resembles Java's Spring, and NuGet Package Manager would be a equivalent to Maven. The most important element out of these ones is the CLR, the Common Language Runtime. The CLR is the runtime environment that runs the code and that provides services that make the development process easier. Before talking about the most important component of .NET, the CLR, let's not forget that the .NET platform supports a couple of languages like c -sharp, f -sharp or Visual Basic .NET. Let's imagine that the .NET architecture is built like a stack. At the top of the stack there are the high-level languages that the developer uses to write code and the deeper we dive into the inner workings of .NET we can see the second most important component of .NET which is the class libraries and deep beneath down is the CLR. Although the .NET architecture seems pretty complex at first sight, the developer only needs to know the high-level languages. The rest is taken care of by .NET itself. All of the .NET development process is written in an IDE, in an integrated development environment, usually Visual Studio. To simplify the scheme of how .NET works, let's imagine that all the high-level programming languages are compiled into an intermediate language and then this intermediate language is transformed with the help of the CLR and the just-in-time compiler into machine-readable code. This is then executed by the processor. In a more specific example, the developer writes the source code of his application in the higher-level language such as c -sharp, f -sharp, or VBNet and then the specific compilers of those higher-level languages convert the higher-level code into the intermediate language. This intermediate language is often referred as MSIL or CIL, which comes from Microsoft Intermediate Language or simply Common Intermediate Language. The CIL resembles bytecode and are often EXEs or DLLs. This bytecode intermediate language is converted with the help of the CLR and the just-in-time compiler into native code and is executed by the OS and the processor. As you can see, this is a two-step process and the first part happens at compile time and the second part happens at runtime. After explaining the inner workings of .NET, we can get to a recap and a conclusion. During all those years, Microsoft managed to develop and improve two important components for programmers, the one being the c -sharp language and the second one being the .NET environment. c -sharp is a programming language that is object-oriented, type-safe, structured, component-oriented, fast and modern. And .NET is an environment that is free and open source, fast, cross-platform, at least the .NET core part, modern and productive. The last two .NET releases, .NET 6 and 7, brought the developers high performance and cross-platform interoperability like never seen before in the .NET world. .NET 8 is scheduled for release in 2023 and this future seems very bright and promising, bringing in speed and efficiency. I hope you found this video informative and if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day!